Victoria, the Queen of England, in her concern to protect the chiefs and the sub-tribes of New Zealand, and in her desire to pre preserve their chieftainship and their lands to them, and to maintain peace and good order, considers it's just to appoint an administrator, one who will negotiate with the people of New Zealand to the end that their chiefs will agree to the Queen's government being established over all parts of this land and adjoining islands. And also because there are so many of her subjects already living on this land and others yet to come. So the Queen desires to establish a government so that no evil will come to the Maori and European living in a state of lawlessness. So the Queen has appointed me, William Hobson, a captain in the Royal Navy to be governor for all parts of New Zealand and both those shortly to be received by the Queen and those to be received hereafter and presents to the chiefs of the Confederation, chiefs of the sub-tribes of New Zealand and other chiefs, these laws set out here. The first, the chiefs of the Confederation and all the chiefs who have not joined that Confederation give absolutely to the Queen of England forever the complete government over their land. The second, the Queen of England agrees to protect the chiefs, the sub-tribes and all the people of New Zealand in the unqualified exercise of their chieftainships, of their lands, villages and all their treasures. But on the other hand, the chiefs of a confederation and all the chiefs will sell and to the Queen at a price agreed to by the person owning it and by the person buying it, the latter being appointed by the Queen as her purchase agent. The third, for this agreed arrangement, therefore concerning the government of the Queen, the Queen of England will protect all the ordinary people of New Zealand and will give them the same rights and duties of citizenship as the people of England. Signed William Hobson, Council and Lieutenant Governor, so we, the Chiefs of the Confederation and the Sub-Tribes of New Zealand, meeting here at Waitangi, having seen the shape of these words, which we accept and agree to record our names and our mark thus, was done at Waitangi on the 6th of February in the year of our Lord, 1840.